Karen Stouffer left. Chris Bostick right. Listen up in the pits. Uh, attention in the pits. If you are still in competition, Lucas Oil Series or Wright Trailers, Top Drags or Top Sportsman, you should be in the staging lane. Karen Stouffer on her Suzuki over there on the left side making a cameo appearance. With her husband, you can see down there, they line the motorcycles up. It is more critical on a pro stock motorcycle than any other vehicle in drag racing to be pointed perfectly straight down the racetrack. Chris Bostic on the right side. That is an Arana fielded bike. Volunteer welding on the side. Bostic just flew in from Tennessee. The Arana's doing a little R&D with this one. Karen and Gary Stover doing some R&D with that one, too. It's got a smaller motor in it. It's a two-valve combination. It makes less power, but it also gets a substantial weight break. And with Karen, they're able to meet that weight break. They really want to just come out and see if they can make that bike competitive. Chris Bostic has an 010 reaction time. And Karen Stouffer drove by. 686, 193 the speed. Off for a qualifying pace by a considerable amount. Bostic goes 691 at 194, which is almost exactly where he qualified. Bostic had a 10 reaction time, which is spectacular. Karen had an 034, which wasn't bad. But by the time they'd gotten 330 feet or a football field, that first orange block down there, Karen was out in front, and she continued to stretch it out until she won it by a couple hundredths of a second. 6.868 for the win. Have a look at that last pair on the NHRA replay. Wow, Karen's bike got pretty wacky down there in the shutdown area. Going over the transition, started wagging the tail down there. She had been riding these things. Like, Karen Stouffer made her debut in 1996. 